Yo, what is going on guys? This is Swerve here and welcome back to another video of mine. In today's video, it is uh, slightly different to say the least. So we have discovered an article from back in December of 2019, I believe it was, that has now been brought forward in the community and loads of people have been thinking that it is true. Actually reading here, it says that apparently this was published in the 17th of October 2016. Why it's resurfing now and people are believing it's true, I'm not too sure. But we're going to go over this article, read about it, because I thought it was quite a good sort of content to make for you guys. And you might enjoy it, and if you come across this article, you can correct people saying that it's false. <laughs> but yes, so it is a hoax, it is a fake article, but nonetheless it's a very interesting article and uh, very Jurassic Park-esque. So the main question is, did scientists recreate a Tyrannosaurus Rex embryo from chicken DNA. So, already, it sounds very exciting to say the least. I mean, I guarantee most of you guys are intrigued. But the original article does say this. A 68 million year old DNA sample retrieved from soft tissue cells found in a recently excavated pregnant Tyrannosaurus rex fossil has led researchers at North Carolina State University to produce a first fully living dinosaur embryo in millions of years. The pregnant Tyrannosaurus rex's DNA that was preserved in extremely good condition according to experts was introduced into the skin cells of a chicken, a modern relative to the Tyrannosaurus rex. We often think of the T-Rex as a huge crocodile-like bipedal reptile, but in fact its closest modern relative are birds, and the T-Rex was actually the dinosaur equivalent of a chicken. The similarity of both DNAs actually surprised us at first, and we are extremely enthusiastic about the positive results and growth of the embryo, she adds. So that's very interesting. Apparently, um, they were saying that we have created the first uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex in millions of years. We have fused chicken DNA with a T-Rex DNA from a pregnant excavated fossil of the Tyrannosaurus Rex, which kind of doesn't really add up to me. I, I probably would have to read into the science a little bit much, a little bit more. But to me personally, I don't believe that that could really work out that well. Um, however, nonetheless, apparently they state that they did it. Um, but this is what the origin of the source and proven if it is fake or not uh, does say about it. On 15th of April 2016, the World News Daily Report website published an article reporting that scientists in North Carolina had, successive, had successfully <laughs> created the first fully living dinosaur embryo in millions of years using DNA from a chicken skin. But below the article they do say that the World News Daily Report is a fake news site and the story was completely fabricated but the article gained enough traction online, including being copied and reproduced by multiple websites, which include no disclaimers that North Carolina Museum of Natural Science published a statement informing the public that it was a hoax. So yes, yeah, sadly no T-Rex or thankfully no T-Rex, but there's actually a similar story to this that happened in Argentina, I believe, where they were able to change the DNA of a uh, chicken to stop its DNA from growing certain things, but then also fusing the DNA with some other sort of DNA. And they made a raptor looking chicken with a sickle claw, with hands, with actual three clawed claws for the chicken and a long snout for the chicken as well. So di cloning dinosaurs are probably gonna happen within our lifetime, some sort of similar cloning dinosaurs, I guess. Whether we get an actual dinosaur, as Alan Grant would say, monsters, um, is the question. That's the main question. But this is what they also had to say. A recent news story falsely reports an account of a recreation of a Tyrannosaurus rex embryo in a paleontology research lab in the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences. This story is a complete fabrication and the personal cited in the report are, as far as we can tell, made up. For accurate information regarding dinosaur DNA research, please check out this blog post and they leave a uh, link. WNDR typically attaches unrelated images to fictional clickbait headlines probably what I'm probably doing in this video as well, <laughs> to generate traffic from social media shares. In this case, their photo of a French by physicist Jackis Clement, I can't even pronounce that, was in fact a photograph of University of Washington's associate of professor of a genome sciences, John Satter, something that looks very dinosaur Greek name right there. <laughs> and their picture of the paleontology research lab where the T-Rex cloning was supposedly carried out was just a Getty image of stock photographs. And overall, the story was simply a rehash of one of several dinosaur cloning hoaxes to circulate the social media in recent years. So yes, it is a false thing. But what would you guys think? Would you be for dinosaurs to be cloned or would you be against? That's the question. I'll probably try and leave a poll up there actually um, for you guys to choose. Do you want dinosaurs in this world or do you not? Personally, my understanding, look at the movies. 
five movies pretty much explaining why it's a bad idea to have cloning. You have other scientists that want to use it. You have governments that will probably want to militarize it. You have other dinosaurs breaking out and then killing others. And then you, I don't know, it's just going to cost a lot. And I just don't think it's a good idea to have dinosaurs in this world um, because they're not going to be the dinosaurs we all know and love from 65 million years ago, at least. Um, they're going to be, as Alan Grant would say, monsters. They are not dinosaurs. They are genetically modified monsters. But uh, nevertheless, it's a really cool story. And uh, just to let you guys know, it is a hoax because I did actually have some people tweeting this at me and sending it to me saying, is this true? And I, I, I didn't know. So I did a little bit of research. Didn't really take much research, but here it is. But in the meantime, hope you guys did enjoy this sort of off topic video, but a quite different video as well. Um, don't forget to go check out my second channel as well. We just broke 100 subscribers in three days. Madness, absolute madness. Um, but I appreciate you all being here. But in the meantime, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, smash that like button. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section down below. And um, I'll catch you all in the next video. Make sure to stay safe out there, wear a mask, and take care. Bye bye.